Okay guys, so I've done a lot of videos on bushcrafting experience. Now I think I'm gonna switch it up a little bit and talk about my EDC experience and kind of what I per personally prefer for everyday carry. And I have a whole bunch of knives out here. If they look familiar from another video, that's because I like to do videos back to back. So yes, I just did another video. But anyways, before we get into this video and before we talk about what my personally favorite steel for everyday carry is, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe so that you guys can see more awesome Alaskan EDC survival and bushcraft awesomeness like this. And without any further ado, let's jump into this. So guys, <clears throat> so guys, as I clean off this auto, I'm going to be talking about my favorite steel for everyday carry. Now, when we get into favorite steels and stuff like that, there's a whole bunch of people that will come out and be like, well, this is my favorite steel. I like this steel the most. I like this steel. Steel talk is a very, very crazy thing, and uh, many people have many different opinions. And on the table here, there is a whole bunch of different steels, everything from M390 to S35VN, N690CO, um, LMAX and a whole bunch more steels. This is 1095, 154 CM. So many different steels here and I wanted to kind of do that because I wanted to talk about an array of steels and why I ultimately like M390 the most. Why it's my favorite steel for EDC and why when I can get it, I like to go for M390. <clears throat> now honestly, I will say that this video is probably gonna be outdated before it's even released because it seems like nowadays in the knife community, <coughs> in the knife community, everyone is like, they're coming out with steels so fast. Like now there's 20 CV, there's, uh, what is it, CPM 4V, and there's a whole bunch of new steels that are crazy and even better than their predecessors. So this video, it may even be kind of out dated in the fact that M390 isn't the newest, coolest steel out there, and neither is CPM S35VN, even though I remember the days when these two steels, M390 and S35VN, were like the top performers. They were the best of the best, but now they're being left in the dust. ZT is already, this is a ZT here, ZT is already going over to CPM 20CV, so there's a whole bunch of crazy steels out there, but personally, what I like the most is <clears throat> Bowler M390, and M390 is a really great steel for me, and one of the primary reasons why I like this steel is, or there's two primary reasons why I like it, and especially I like it for, uh, <coughs> I like it for EDC the most, is that one, it's stainlessness, or it's ease of rust or its rust resistance I should say is very high. It does not rust very easily and it also has a very good edge retention. Now of course when we get to blade steels like M390 the sharpenability or the ability to put a good edge back on it is a little bit harder. It certainly is. It's not one of the easiest steels to sharpen. It's a tough steel, so that means that it you know, will hold an edge for a long time, but it is a bear to get it back. But <clears throat> for the most part, I like it for EDC because unlike when we look at bushcraft, we're using our steels a lot. And so you're really pounding that steel through everything. And for bushcraft, I like 5160 and 01 tool steel because those are steels that sharpen up pretty easy. And they're also steels that can bend they really are softer steels and more springy, especially with 5160, it's more springy and uh, it's harder to break. Whereas when I go over to EDC, I like steels that are really, really tough, really hard, and <clears throat> that don't rust easily. And that really fits, the reason why I like that kind of bill for my EDC knives is because I like a knife that I can just throw in my pocket day after day and then I can, you know, take it out of my pocket, cut something and, you know, get water on the edge, be able to close the knife back up, stick it in my pocket and go on. And I know it's not going to rust. I know it's not going to dull. And another thing is I'm very busy throughout my time, you know, in EDC life or just normal day-to-day -day life. 
I don't really want to stop and sharpen my knives that frequently. So <clears throat> I really like the fact that I can, you know, cut many, many, many things. And in a true, hey guys, so before my camera dies again because of the battery loss, um, <clears throat> we're going to get right back into M390. And so like I was saying with my basic uh, premise for knives that I really like to EDC, I don't cut things a whole lot in an EDC situation unless I'm going out of my way. But for the most part, what I like in an EDC knife is that I can just pull it out of my pocket, cut something, then close it back up and then put it back in my pocket and be done with it. <clears throat> I don't have to worry about how sharp the knife is or how, you know, if the edge is good, if it needs to be touched up. I don't have to worry about, oh, if I put it back and it's wet, it's gonna rust up, you know? And so that's what I really enjoy about M390 is it's very rust resistant and it's very, very tough it continues to hold its edge for a long time that's also one of the primary reasons why my second favorite is cpm s35 vn these two are my top favorite steels and of course i don't have any experience yet probably will soon with things like cpm 20 cv i don't have any personal experience with that uh, blade steel but when i do i'm sure i'll love it too but for the steels that i actually have in-house in my actual testing um, <clears throat> I like these two the most now Lmax is another pretty good steel I've had quite a bit of experience with Lmax which is what the Microtechs use both of these right here are Lmax but I don't like Lmax in the fact that it does actually rust up pretty fast if you don't watch it I know on this one like I've gotten a little bit of liquid on the serrations before and on those serrations they rusted up really fast faster than i was expecting so i really do not actually like lmax for the most part it's a good edc steel for the fact that it holds an edge for a long time it can be a bit of a pain to sharpen but it does hold an edge for a long time but it is not as rust resistant as either of uh, m390 or uh, cpm s35 bn <coughs> so other steels that are on this table, Bowler, N, Bowler N690CO is another okay steel. I'm not a huge fan of N690. It's nothing that it's necessarily like a bad steel. It does have pretty good rust resistance, but I really don't like the edge retention on it. I find it to be a little bit lacking. So that's kind of why I don't like N690, but it's not a horrible steel in fairness. It's it's definitely not like, it's not 420 HC or anything like that. So it's not horrible, I just don't love it. 154 CM is actually pretty good. It's pretty rust resistant, more so than I actually realized in the beginning, but it's edge retention can be a little bit lacking. Um, one that I actually just pulled this out just for kind of like blade steels on the table I don't really EDC this one and this one's 1095 as I've mentioned before I do not like 1095 at all for EDC because It has great edge retention and it's not quite as good as these super steels here. These are kind of super steels here um, but it rusts way too easily. You have to really watch it. And once again, it kind of doesn't fit my bill because it's like, for me, I have a busy life, so I just don't want to be able to, I don't want to have to watch my steels. Like, I don't want to have to be like, oh, is it clean? Is it, you know, is there water on it? I have to brush it off. Gotta make sure it's clean. When I'm bushcrafting or in the outdoors, I'm taking things differently. But in an EDC situation or scenario, I don't like the maintenance that I have to put into this particular steel, 1095. So I do not actually EDC 1095 knives, I, and I just don't like their care. So anyways, M390 is my absolute favorite for those reasons, and it is generally a harder steel to find in knives that are cheap. Generally, you are not going to find the steel in anything that is under $200. So that is kind of a drawback to it. Almax and S35 VN are blade steels that you can find at a little bit cheaper, but I do like M390 the most. And if I had to, definitely. And I EDC, you know, I EDC this knife here quite a bit. So it's not like I'm against Almax. It certainly is a good steel. You just have to watch it for rust or you just have to make sure that you get something that's heavily coated, such as this Microtech Ultratech here. If it's coated, then it's a little bit better. 
But <clears throat> anyways, guys, that is my personal take on steels and what I prefer for everyday carry. I thought this might be fun to kind of do a mix up and talk about what I prefer for my EDC steels, my, my preferred EDC everyday carry knife steels. Anyways, guys, that's all for now. God bless and I'm out.